so I'm hopping in here with the mod review today. I came across this mod yesterday when I was going through trying to find some mermaid additions to one of my let's plays and I had never heard of this modder so I thought I'd give him a little shout out and a little share. It's called the Cottage Living Purchase More Llamas by Zero and what it does is it unlocks the brown and black mm -hmm. llamas to be purchased from the animal shed mm -hmm. more of a permanent thing so it does add a bit of realism mm -hmm. and these llamas also don't lose their coloring no matter what treat you give it and these mm -hmm. llamas do not lose their coloring so because I haven't really had the opportunity to play too much with cottage living just yet because I'm kind of saving it for one of my let's plays mm -hmm. Um, I did have to verify that there was only a white and beige llama, uh, which there was, so I was actually surprised that the brown and black llamas, which is something you can purchase in real life, uh, they weren't available. So I do like that it adds some of that realism. So while I am excited to hop in here and get to it and show you the mod, I do want to warn you. And I do believe this follows from most of Zero's mods. When you download and go to install this mod, there will be files that you have to pick and choose. You can't just dump them all in there, call it good, and expect mm -hmm. it to work out. So you have to be very mindful of what you're doing. Read the whole mods page. Oh, boom! <laughs> She's so cute. So you do have to be very mindful of what you're doing and read the whole mods page. Don't skimp. I can already tell you're skimping. And do the same for the text files you may see in the download. This is very important and I can't stress this enough. We don't want mods conflicting or trying to work over one another. Uh, we're already busy enough trying to keep them all up to date so we stop getting that mm -hmm. exceptions error. So just be nice to yourself and read everything. If you download it and it's not cut dry, simple, right out the gate, then I do recommend doing some of what I call extreme measures, which I will explain, but let me give you a warning disclaimer right now. I take no responsibility for you messing up your own game files. I don't give tech advice. I'm just describing what's worked for me in the past. If you're unsure about the process, mm -hmm. or you're not too tech savvy, I don't know what to tell you, I can't help. So for those of you that are willing to take the risk and dive into it, here's what oh, we can do. Yes. You can temporarily move your mods folder. Mm -hmm. Don't delete it. Don't copy paste. Move your mods folder somewhere else safe. That way, when you restart the game, it'll generate a new mods folder and you can start piecing together the packages that you want from this mod. Then. After you have all the elements that you want from this mod, you can play or test it. If something doesn't work out, reread the mod page and text files and try again. If it works how you want it, then you can add it to your regular mods folder. You know, the one you temporarily moved to a safe place earlier. Finally, once you've gone through this process and the files have been added to your regular mods folder, you can move that folder back into your Sims 4 file. For my files, I chose the no color change package because I didn't really like that the color changes based on the treat that you feed them. And right now I'm okay with the lifespan that they have, especially since you have treats that you can feed them. So it's whatever. I decided not to mess with that one. I might change this in the future, but for right now that was the optional package I chose. So let's hop into this. I'm just going to leave her knitting. So if you click on the animal shed, I already tried this out. She's leveling up. So I already tried this mod out to do a little player test just to make sure that it worked and everything. And I even tested it with some treats and whatnot. I got some wool here. But you'll purchase the animal. So normally you only have the beige llama and the white llama options. And what this mod does is it adds the black llama and the brown llama. And if you notice, they're all about the same price. 
per llama, but the black llama is more expensive. And that's because I think recently Zero went in and upped the amount the black llama wool sells for. Since you don't have to use a treat, I feel it's kind of it's kind of fair. And since the black wool is classified as rare, it, it makes more sense. So I, I previously purchased a brown llama, so I'm going to go ahead and purchase a black one this time. All right. And he's going to come out. That looks a little more blue than black, but maybe that's just me. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He, she, it, I don't know. Well, we'll see. So I have some treats here. I don't... Okay, so this is supposed to be for pink wool. Now, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but the no color change that I decided to choose, um, it doesn't change their fur when you feed them a certain tree. So I'm going to have him I'm gonna cancel what she's doing. Now I'm going to have her feed him a flirty treat. Now this should cause them to turn pink, I think, if you're playing the normal game. And again, I haven't had the opportunity to play through it just yet. I haven't even gotten to the animals part. Toki boo. But from my Locked understanding, up. they're supposed to change. Ah. Ah. Okay, yeah. see, see, he stays the same. So I'm going to have her shear the wool. Uh -huh. All right, so we shaved him, and we do have one pink wool, and we have six black wool. Dang, 300, he could really be making his, his return. But that's about the extent of the mod, it just adds the black and brown llamas. But again, with this mod, there's a couple different flavors that you can have it. I think there's one that still allows the color change to happen, if you prefer that. Uh, I personally don't, but that's just me. I'm not too sure if it works with the other llama still, and it only affects the black and brown ones. So I went ahead and I sold the black llama and I bought a white one because I wanted to see if the color change still affected the llamas other than the black and the brown one. Because I know with the black and the brown the colors don't change but I wanted to see this is just a normal white llama. I don't think I had any of the treats. Alright so I did a little cheating and I gave her some treats. So let's go ahead and I know previously I gave the brown one pumpkin tree. So I'm going to go ahead and give the white one a pumpkin tree this time. And it does change them. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go here. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trade them ingredients and we're going to purchase let's do another brown one and let's call them new beam sure let's give them a golden treat toki boo um. laksa ah, ah. okay yep see how he stays the same so I do believe it changes the beige and the white still, but it keeps the black and the brown the same color no matter what treat you give them. And I believe Zero has another mod for the Country Living pack. I think it's called Country Living Tweaks and Fixes. And in that mod, I believe they make the no color change universal for both Ooh. cow and llama oh. types. Uh. However, I do not have that mod, so... It would make sense that the beige and the white still change color oh. when the oh. black and the brown llamas do not. With me. And I'll probably Good do a review on that mod later.
But for right now, I'm probably just gonna hang out and watch these See two little cuties interact. Me if there's another mod that you would like me to review, just drop it down in the comments, let me know. I'm gonna probably be adding a few more mod reviews to this channel. Just because I enjoy them, and I've actually found a few that I probably never would have if I wasn't if I wasn't looking for something mermaid related. As usual, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!